Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland This is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes This is going to be a hypnosis relaxation session with the option to drift off to sleep. So my advice would be If you have something to do or somewhere to go after listening to this, would be to set your alarm because you may fall asleep. And there will be two versions of this, one with and one without music. So please subscribe to this podcast, wherever you are listening, and that'd be really groovy, and I think I said, please only listen when you can safely close your eyes, I think I, think I said that, if I didn't, I just have, and if I did, I said it twice, now, Ideally, uh, for a relaxation session, you can sit down in a comfortable chair or you can lay down on a bed or a comfortable flat surface that supports your body and your head as well. Now, not everybody's the same. But I know from what I've been told from many people over the years that listening to me when you're lying down, it it might be because of my exciting voice, but it tends to send you to sleep. Now... I quite like listening to relaxation sessions in a chair if if I'm not wanting to go to sleep. In fact, I could probably listen to a heavy metal album lying down and still fall asleep because I just... My body knows it's time to sleep when I lay down in a bed. So if you do sit in a chair, make sure that it supports your body in a way that if you did fall asleep, you know, you don't fall out of the chair. So ideally a chair with sides or uh, armrests or, you know, that kind of thing. So I would uh, probably ward against balancing on a stool. A wooden, st- a wooden stool, that's probably not ideal. So I'd like to really start off by asking you to thank your body. To thank the stress, and this might seem strange, an idea to actually thank something that maybe you feel has been completely wrecking your life. But everything that happens within our body is is kind of there for a reason. It might not seem always logical 
may be simply that the stress is there as a warning to let you know that perhaps you need to take it a little bit easier. Perhaps you need to spend a bit more time relaxing. Or perhaps you need to spend a bit more time being kind to yourself. Because it's not always about lying down or sitting down. That's not the only way to relax. And it's not the only way that everybody uh, enjoys relaxing. Some people may prefer to go and have a game of squash or to go and watch a movie or to dance. And in some ways, you, there's, it, it seems like that's the opposite to relaxing. But exercise, the after effect is a very relaxing experience. I've been told. <laughs> and I have, I have exercised in the past. So it's very good for the brain, very good for the body. Movement, physical movement. Even if it's just your arms or just your legs or just your upper body. A little bit of physical movement. Sometimes, even when it's done really slowly. For example, Tai Chi. Or Qing Gong, Gong Qing, whatever it's called. Where it's very slow. But it's very powerful, very... You can really feel the energy moving around your body. And that's a little bit like what we do here. In a sense of your mind... starts to slow down. Even though it may seem like I'm just chatting on about stuff. It might sound a bit boring. But there's a calmness attached to this moment. There's a real sense of inner peace arising. And that inner peace pretty much evaporates the tension in your body. It's almost like a black hole to the tension. And I know that black holes, you know, in space, there's been movies made about them and how they uh, suck in complete solar systems, you know, planets and solar systems and there's some kind of really bad thing, but actually, well, it's really bad if you live on one of them planets, but that sense of inner peace that you've always got with you, we have it wherever we go, we just may not be aware of it as often as we may wish to be in the future. And connected with that inner peace is the safety. A much underrated and possibly undervalued feeling of safety. 
yet it's probably one of the most important things that there is to feel safe to feel safe within your own skin to feel safe with you know your own body to feel safe within your own mind just to feel safe almost as if there's an invisible force field around your body protecting you at all times so you've got this sense of inner peace and the stress the feelings of stress and anxiety and all that stuff that's almost can feel like it's been living in your body it's not really been living there it's just they're just feelings but they're trying to get your attention they actually care about you every part of your body cares about you because it is you how can it not care I think the only part, possibly, of our existence, you know, our body, our mind, everything, that maybe doesn't care about ourselves is us. Sometimes we don't care enough about ourselves. In fact, I'd say probably most people don't. Don't have enough love for themselves which needs to be increased. And it's not about thinking that you're, you know, you're something special or that you're some kind of, it's not a narcissistic thing. It's a kindness issue to show love in the same way that you would show love to a a newborn baby or to your, uh, if you're very close to, your grandparents or to a parent or a child or in my case it's Andre the Ferret but to have that love if I was able to show that amount of love towards myself I would be hugely more happier in life I'm working on it And it, you know, it's a work in progress with everybody. You know, it's, this is a journey, and it's not about the end; it's about the journey. You know, every day is a new chance for you to feel more relaxed and calmer. And even though, when you're lying in your bed sitting in your comfortable supported chair and you're just listening to my voice droning on boring and you feel more more relaxed even when my voice goes croaky like that but something else happens so you may fall asleep through boredom like why He's, when's he going to do the hypnosis? When's he going to start clicking his fingers and telling me what to do? I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'll make some suggestions. I'll give some ideas and stuff. But ultimately, this is about you taking back that control so that you're the boss. You're in charge of your own level of comfort and relaxation and ability to just fall asleep whenever you choose so that you feel amazing, amazingly relaxed. And even though the benefits... 
as you breathe out, you can feel that you feel karma in your body and your mind, for some reason, feels almost still. There's not a lot going on there, which is a good sign. Because as you thank your body, and you thank your mind, I mean, you can literally say the words thank you, or say it to yourself, inside your mind, thank you to your body, thank you to your mind, or you can just notice that sense of gratitude rising up. Because your body, all of all of our bodies are just amazing what we can do. Our brains, phenomenal. Really, really phenomenal. So we all, we all have talents. We all have the ability to do amazing things. We all have the ability to be incredibly kind to others. And we do have the ability to be incredibly kind to yourself as you move forward. It may not seem um, may seem a little bit strange the idea of actually caring about yourself might seem weird but most new things or new ideas do sound or feel a little bit strange to start with just like when you hear a new song for the first time and you think oh, I'm not sure about that and then, you know, a week later, you've heard it a few times on the radio, or maybe you listen to it online, and you love that song. It's now your favourite song. That's happened to a few songs over the years with me. It almost it sinks in. The... It's like my brain or my mind sinks, like S Y N C S, whatever it, how it's spelled. It sinks with it, sinks together with tunes, fine tunes, into that idea. Just like the idea of being kind to yourself, caring about yourself. I mean, really caring about yourself. Not just saying it, but meaning it. And when you do notice that you're feeling that, you know, that kind of generosity towards yourself, the, you know, the gratitude, generosity, kindness is growing within you within that it's kind of developing and spreading from that peacefulness that inner peace that's there all the time wherever we go it's always with you and it starts to spread and you maybe start to notice it more often Which is quite nice. Because you can be at work or you can be out somewhere. And you get a sense of well-being for no reason. You know, there's no, nothing particularly happening that would, um, that you would think would trigger that feeling of well-being. Yet it arises anyway and it almost just arises from nowhere yeah it hasn't arisen from nowhere because it's within you wherever you go
a man person. It's, it's like an unused fart. You know, until you fart, that little bit of air is always with you. But that's probably not a good example. <laughs> so, that feeling of warmness, warmth, probably be a better word, warmth, that you can experience naturally arising. And I'm sure you know the feeling. You know, sometimes you just be doing something and you just feel, you feel really good. You feel really relaxed and really almost peaceful. And you feel really good. You really, it's all like a, a warm, a warm blanket you know, in the winter, just keeping you nice and cosy, just feels really nice. And that kind of feeling can arise more and more often. As I said, without even expecting it or thinking about it. Although the more and more it happens, the more, I guess, you'll start expecting it. And the more you expect it to happen, the more often it will happen. And the brain seems to work like that. We get what we think about. We get more of what we think about. Because for some reason, I guess it makes sense, but if you think about stuff, the brain assumes that's what you want more of you know the neural pathways are developed so if you visit you do let's say for example you go through a forest and you just go through once the trail is going to still be very brittle and it's only going to you know it's it's going to grow back quite quickly you know, you push your way through, push a few branches out of the way. You might have to cut the odd um, thing down, you know, to get through. But generally, you're not going to make a huge dent. And you're definitely not going to make a pathway for other people to follow. And in fact, you might not be able to find that path again yourself because you've already been there through there once. So it's hard to get back and forward between that or to even find it. And that's the brain is like that. Because what happens is the more you go somewhere in your brain, feelings, the more you feel this sense of deep relaxation. Not just when you hear my voice, or when you feel, you know, feeling sleepy and calm when you're laying down in your bed. But that sense of feeling really good, feeling really uplifted, feeling happy, really. I guess happy is the word. Happy is the word. And... You can just notice that the more that happens, the better the pathway. It turns from being all, you know, overgrown to a little a little passage that has been sort of broken through by a few journeys. And you end up with a practically a motorway. It becomes that big that you can go in and out and it's so instant. And the more you use it, the stronger it gets, that connection. And the more often it happens. It's, in a sense, you could say it's like a, like a, a free-flowing river just continues to flow.
and it's not blocked by anything. There are no, there's no beavers making a little dam, no beavers blocking anything. It's just free flowing water, free flowing energy of relaxation spreading through your body and your mind. And even the idea of it, just the words that I'm saying now, can actually have a physical effect upon how you feel in this moment. Physically, in your shoulders, your eyes, your face, jaw, your arms, your hands, fingers, your back, chest and stomach, legs, feet, toes, down your spine, and your hips, and you can feel that sense of comfort just being there, just naturally being there. It's almost as if you were already relaxed before. You just didn't realize it. You were relaxed before and you just didn't realize. I quite like that idea. By removing the barriers that seem to be getting in the way of you actually experiencing the feelings of comfort in your body and in your mind now allow you to just enjoy that sensation of comfort enjoy enjoy being you Enjoy being kind to yourself more often from now on. And I'm going to count from 10 down to 1. And you can get more relaxed with each number more relaxed with each number that I count down. In fact, you may find that it's hard to follow the numbers after I get to five because you just can't be bothered to listen anymore. As your body sinks so very deeply into that sense of real, real comfort. Now, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six. 